How's everybody doing? Strange sights. And we have one right above tonight, Monday night, July 1st. Can you believe it? Now I am sitting on somebody's steps. So if those lights of spotlights come on, I'm out of here. That's why I can't talk too loud. this you know I took a still shot of this thing in the sky right before I started filming the video and it expanded big now it's playing possum that means it's faking its own death it's not doing any real expanding I'm tapping the light meter tiny bit. It got bigger there. <gasps> there we go. Okay. I might have to settle for that. It's still exciting for the people who have never seen. For people who have never seen stuff like this. Um, pure energy in the sky that does get bigger and changes colors and is because I've had communication with it a type of intelligence and when I ask it questions well this one's too far away to ask any questions but or tap on the light here, it responds to it. <clears throat> but it's always good to see. It's a beautiful blue sky, clear night compared to the way it's been lately. And uh, it's supposed to continue to about the weekend good weather, which is always good for people who do this kind of thing, looking for the mysteries in the sky, <clears throat> usually out at night, but sometimes I've caught some in the afternoon in here in New York City and also in London. tried to get it on my iPhone in London, but the train had passed and then blocked the view before I could. It's a long story, but this is back in 2019 when I went <clears throat> to Europe in, in uh, the winter. I would really like to travel more, and I expect to, especially doing this kind of work, looking for these kind of sightings in the sky. <clears throat> you know, when I was just walking out the place where I live, there were three what looked like star constellation in the sky, but it was triangle shaped like a pyramid. And I, don't, I know some of the noted star, you know, Big Dipper or whatever. Um, something Gate, Hugo's Gate or whatever. Orion's Orion's Hugo's. I think that's on the, online. I got it mixed up with trading. Orion's Gate. And you know, there's others, but. Yeah. For those who believe in astrology and. <clears throat> God, congested people that follow the stars. How do I know about this? My mom 
was an astrologer and still is. So, I mean, what's your sign? Leave it in the comments below. Are some more prone to astronomy? Uh, not necessarily, but it's just a conversation piece, but it does have some power to it, uh, astrology. I'm more these days interested in astronomy I think I mentioned here when I was a kid, I still am, that in a lot of ways, I had a big telescope and it looked like I could touch the moon, it was so close. But now I'm having my doubts about the moon. I know it has a certain lunar power over people, over their moods. People do crazy stuff when the moon is full, turn into werewolves, you know. The usual thing, right? Werewolves in London. Werewolves in, werewolves in New York City. turn into a werewolf, you could get arrested. And rightly so. They said, I swear to God, I, I think it was on um, Ancient Aliens or The Unexplained, one of these kinds of shows. <clears throat> they were saying there are some werewolves down in Brazil, in the jungle, um, other places in the world. I forget where, but, you know, and you've heard the stories in New Jersey Devil, the Dover Demon, Bigfoot, the Lake Champlain Monster, you know, it's kind of like the, the Loch Ness, but it sounds like a plesiosaur if you know your dinosaurs. it will show me or videotaping it. And there's some clouds around it. You can see that it's pushing them away. <clears throat> it has a little black space around it. <clears throat> but you can't see it with the human eye. There were some big clouds today, but tons of openings, so I said, let me give it a shot tonight. I think I'll find something out there. I see another light flashing across the sky, but I'm pretty sure that's a jet. But if I can't zoom out, it passes that building, and if it doesn't look like a plane, I'll include it in this shot. Where is it? Where is it? <clears throat> I'm surprised I'm so congested because I had some echinacea tea a little earlier and uh, might have another. It doesn't have caffeine in it. It's got a long name, echinacea. It's the T for lungs and congestion. If you have any of those kinds of issues. <clears throat> Sometimes. Kooky rap song. Sounds like tech. 
of me being beamed up are highly exaggerated because I never did get beamed up. I just, there were just clouds and crappy weather and I couldn't find these things for what seemed like forever but it was a few months so here we are back at it again. I'm now seeing that Got about seven, eight countries currently watching me. That's nice to see. USA, the Philippines, uh, what was the other one? Um, England. did want to get out earlier, but I just finished dinner, and, you know, I was watching another cool movie, Waterloo Bridge, it's called, on um, Turner Classic Movies, Channel 82, Waterloo Bridge with Robert Taylor and Vivian Lee. of the movie nine years before with Betty Davis. For you moviegoers, I think UFOers and moviegoers. What period of movies did you like best? I like the 50s. I think they had most biggest, most epic movies of all time. Well, Gone with the Wind was 1939. That was epic. Robin Hood with Errol Flynn was epic in the 30s also. Um, Public Enemy. Yeah, Little Caesar. It was epic, it was a really good movie though. But, 50s had all these costume pictures, Roman movies, and they had Ben Hur on earlier, 1959, with Charlton Heston. Great movie, fantastic movie. He won the Oscar for that. And they had the big chariot 
dramatic chariot race at the end with his childhood friend turned evil on him. And uh, I won't give it away. Check it out if you've never seen it. Ben Hur. I guess it was a true story. Yeah, it's a really nice night out. Yesterday was crappy. With the humidity and the thunderstorm. up the monotony for you. to know your comments. What do you think about these things in the sky, people? Have you seen... Now people have chimed in. Yeah, I saw this in Chicago or wherever they, they're from. And, or I see these things all the time. Or I've never seen this before. Give me your thoughts. What do you think this looks like? What do you think it is? I can tell you what I think it is almost 100%. It's a an energy portal and intelligence that responds to um, comments, lights, Lights, not likes, but the thing is, it has to be closer to Earth. This is uh, you know, a good deal further away. So, I'll try to get a close up one for you. And no, I didn't bring up my telephoto lens tonight. Oh, yes, look at this over here. a lot of opening in the sky, unlike some other times, I just can't see anything, which stops me from making these videos, so, come on, come on, get bigger, it doesn't seem to hear me. It's all good, no problem either way. It did change on several occasions, whatever you want to call it. Looks greenish, bluish, pink to me. It's got many different colors. I guarantee when I turn this off and I take a few still shots, I got one right before this vid and, and it's, this thing expanded, it's big, 
But I don't know, sometimes YouTube won't let me post them. They say, oh, you can't post your own JPEGs for now. I always like to use the ones that I shoot. Always. So, folks, I hope you enjoyed the video, my ranting, my philosophy of the night. This is strange sights in the sky. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you in the